So there I was in perfect match just minding my own business using the new Chell skin when all of a sudden I got grabbed. Alright? I got grabbed and I lost it. Internally I lost it. I immediately I immediately pressed you know to show the online ID so that I could memorize this piece of oh god. <laughs> so I could memorize his name and basically just target him and try to get him eliminated okay that became my new goal i didn't care about winning anymore with the new chel skin i needed to get that kid eliminated all right because it was perfect match i didn't want to do anything stupid so i tracked him into the next game the next game was tail tag and guess who spawned to my right i made it my sole mission to chase him down and grab his tail he had to be eliminated he had to be eliminated i did not care about anything else other than grabbing this boy's tail okay <laughs> you can run but you cannot hide this is the best way to track people down in team tail tag or tail tag in general just basically make sure everybody's online id is turned on that way you can just keep on tracking them for for miles and miles away all right he tried so after a while he noticed that i was chasing him down so he basically tried, he tried to maneuver me, he tried to pull a, a, a sweet maneuver on me, but it's not going to work, it's not going to work, give me a tail and please get eliminated. <laughs> oh sweet mother of god. With less than 10 seconds on the clock, I had to make sure I somehow qualified, I could not let that chapo kid to get the best of me, alright? And I managed to qualify. Now the moment of truth to see whether or not that griefer of a kid managed to qualify. And he did. He did qualify. So guess what's gonna happen next game? Guess what's gonna happen next game? <laughs> the next game was tiptoe and I became highly suicidal. Okay? My goal was to light the path for people to find the exit and I was going to make sure this chapel kid got eliminated by all means necessary all right i was going to find a path for everybody else but this kid this kid must not qualify okay that was my goal that was my aim and i think i think i think it's safe to say i perhaps may have gotten the job done maybe <laughs> i don't know but that chapel kid was not going to get qualified that's as far as I was concerned. I managed to find the exit and guess who fell down with me? <laughs> My mission had been accomplished. I did not care that I got eliminated, but I got Chapo eliminated. I think that's the big morale of the story. Okay, um, <clears throat> before you say anything, I know I am late to the party, alright? I know the Chell skin has been out for almost two days now, uh, but regardless, this is the new Chell skin, alright, uh, that was added to the item shop in Four Guys Ultimate Knockout. Um, I also want to use this to like voice my frustration about the game. Uh, recently, I've noticed that the amount of griefers in Four Guys has like increased dramatically. All right, it's I know I know it sounds like something you know so small, but honestly, when you're grabbed right before you jump across a platform and you fall down to your death, it's it really it really does 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 touch something in your soul. Like it just pisses you the f up. Like seriously, and uh over the past two days i was able to only play uh for six hours total all right so that's uh that's on average i was playing like three hours each day for the past two days trying to just basically secure a win with a new chel skin but it just wasn't happening uh which kind of made me think that uh maybe the the game added like a new skill uh, matchmaking system i'm not quite sure but comment down below do you think there's skill matchmaking and four guys ultimate knockouts um but yeah finally eventually today you know i i played with the chel skin and i was able to uh get a win but uh before before i before i got a win with the chel skin you know I, I tried playing with i actually tried you know experimenting with other skins and i was getting wins back to back so like as i said it made me really think that maybe maybe just maybe there was a skill match uh based on you know what kind of skin you were you were equipped with all right because the chel skin actually cost a total of 10 crowns so i 
you know there's that all right uh let's actually dive right into the gameplay video and now to the portion of the video you've all been waiting for get to my first crown with the new chel skin all right i can honestly say without a doubt this was the most intense game of hexagon i've ever played all right this was the most by far the most intense game of hexagon i have ever played all right and you'll find out in just a couple minutes or you find out in just a few seconds again um I, I i know i meant to make like a tip and trick video concerning how best to beat hexagon uh but again it's all about knowing when to jump one tile at a time and knowing when to run to try and cut people off okay and it's also also taking into account the 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 next uh tile uh below your, your yourself to know how best you want to basically land and uh find or like basically just navigating the best route to take while playing hexagon and finding the best route to take on the tile below you all right so i could basically see that the tile below me because i kind of seem like i'm rambling but i promise you i'm not uh, so as you can see the tile below me um i could see that you know there was more blue in that section where i just uh, came from uh so i basically mapped my route accordingly right to make sure you know i don't fall through you know the blue tile at this point i'll say i count myself really lucky because usually uh the first and second tile there's usually not like a lot of tiles you know left remaining but i tried to make the best out of the situation i was given so yeah you could think of this as a tip and trick video uh <laughs> but yeah um again like the amount of grippers in this game has increased dramatically from when the game first began all right uh I, I really found myself getting more and more angry the more I played like over the past two days. I just found myself getting extremely frustrated. But it's it's you know it's the way it is, you know. Sometimes you, you win some, sometimes you lose some, you know. Yeah, you just got to met, met, uh, metho methodically make your way, you know, through the tiles as you can see. Uh I ran I ran there because oh I ran there because I saw that you know there was somebody you know right behind me so like I tried to cut him off and ended up falling like you know a lot a lot of the way down you know and uh, so, you know coincidentally it was just me and that kid left so it was a matter of who had more towels to work with all right this is where this is where my heart started thumping because again I need to remind you I have been playing for two days but to be fair, in those two days, I was only able to play for six hours in total. All right, so I've been playing for two days trying to get this content up to you guys, and uh, yeah, I just was not able to get the win. So like, I knew for a fact that I had to win this by all means if I was going to be able to edit this video, upload it, and be on my way to work because I do have work today still. All right, so I was kind of like praying to God like this kid needed to run out of tiles. He needs to run out of tiles, all right. So in the meantime, I was just, I was just trying, making sure, making sure I didn't make any stupid mistakes, right? I was just playing it safe. As you can see, I found another part uh, beneath, beneath me. That's why I kind of like mapped my route accordingly. I saw that there was more tiles, you know, on this blue section. That's why I basically landed where I landed, all right. Again, I was on the last, last platform entirely, and I was like yo there's still no sign of this kid like you know uh dropping <laughs> so i was like all right i'll just keep on i'll just keep on playing it slow keep on playing the slow game and hope for the best all right as you can see there were there were a lot of tiles you know still remaining on the last platform uh, so i'm just making my way slowly making my way slowly at this point in time usually people have already died off and i've won the game already so like i don't understand what the hell was happening my heart was in my mouth and i saw him fall i saw him fall and i was like yes right on time too because i had just run out of tiles i had just run out of tiles so this was by far the most intense game of hexagon i ever played do leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and i want to see more of you on this channel as well comment down below your thoughts concerning the video i would love to get conversing with you guys all right and until next time peace